Hello everyone, I am Augusto Argandonia. Welcome to my watercolor tutorials. This demonstration is about one or more in my series of how to paint a beach scene in watercolors. This particular one is going to be a fairly simple image. Um, unlike my other images where, where primarily the water, the sand, the dunes, the grasses, and maybe a couple of bushes, this one will be a more tropical type uh, image. Um, so that's the way I'm going to paint it. And as always, the paper that I use is a 140 pound cold press. I mean, it happens to be Arches, I prefer that brand. So let's get to the fun part of the demo, which is the painting part. So I'm going to start by wearing the sky area. And um, I'm going to do quite a bit of water in the sky area. Like that. Bring it just, just past the, just above the horizon line. I don't want to get that horizon line wet. So I'm going to do it just like that. And I'm, I'm going to get that thing out of there. So just get some water into that area. And now I'm using my smaller flat brush. I'm going to use some uh, manganese blue and ultramarine blue. And um, just do some areas like this. Pretty much a very clear sunny day. And um, that's the way most people like to have a day at the beach. So I'm going to do that. Just give it a fairly quick transition of blues, leaving some whites for the, for the clouds. Bring a little bit more blue over here. Um, give it a little bit of a wind-blown effect into the clouds and the, towards the horizon. I'm going to also bring some cobalt blue and shift into the mixture. Get a little bit more of that blue sky. Paper is beginning to dry already. So I'm going to have to be careful over here. Get some ed edges of clouds like that. Same thing over here, like, like that. Maybe bring a little bit of that blue right to the horizon line there, like that. And that's pretty much it for the sky. So now I'm going to clean my brush. Remove the moisture from it and remove this little edge and do that. Same thing over here. There. Now, while that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and add some water to the area where the sand will be. I'm going to leave the sun primarily white. Some of the beautiful beaches that we have here on the Gulf of Mexico in Florida, uh, the sand is pretty much white. Not all the beaches, but some are that way. And I'm going to bring some ultramarine blue into this gray color that I already have in my palette. 
I'll add some of that over here, just like that. A little bit more of the blue. And that there. And just like that. And some of the coral blue also. Very soft, like that. All right. Now, while that is drying, I'll take a small round brush, and those uh, those chairs are gonna have uh, some couple towels. The people that were sitting there most likely went for, for a walk. Uh, make sure that this is it's not too wet. So I think it will be right. So I'm going to give one of those brush towels a little bit of a reddish color. Maybe this one. Yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. It's too too wet. So I'm going to give the other one a different coloration, maybe some um, teal, teal color right there. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to give it a pink, yeah, pink color. Maybe some yellow, but I think that would be better. That would be better. Yeah. Like that. Add a little bit of orange to that. to this red too. Yeah. You can see the sky is drying and still kind of wet so I'm going to wait. This is also wet but um, while that is drying I'm going to go ahead and paint the water because this is this is all, the edge is almost dry now so then I'm going to be safe to do that so I'm going to get some of this cobalt teal uh, a little bit of uh, rose sienna mix there and start painting the water. Like that. With the narrow edge of my brush, I'm painting the horizon very carefully so I can keep it very fairly uh, straight and give a, bring a little bit more of that beautiful color. I'm going to leave some white areas to show the, where the, the crest of the waves are breaking. And go around this towel and that chair. Same thing over here. Bring that down here like this. we are and come on down here in that teal color come right to the edge of the water a little bit more water in my brush 
a little bit more raw sienna. Gets a little bit of the greenish tint to the water. More of the teal. Now before the dries, when we get some ultramarine blue with some paint gray, I'll do the horizon, which is always darker. Bit more of the blue. Like that. Now with the, the edge of my brush, I cannot kind of even that that area. So we don't end up with a line. And give a little bit more of definition to the to the water with, with horizontal strokes. Like that. Okay. And the water is done. So now we test this. This is almost dry, so while that's drying, I'm going to do this towels a little bit more. Bring some um, um, Aristarine Crimson with a little bit of a sepia. Yeah. Uh, do the same thing with that orange or yellow towel. A little bit of uh, sienna color. A little bit of the sepia too. edges give a little bit brighter configuration to the towel that's in the breeze there like that okay so, so now okay, this is still drying so I'm gonna go ahead and do the chairs I'm gonna take a smaller brush and uh, get some of this Marine and get this. This is going to be primarily in the in the shade. Give a little bit of a sepia to that and a gray. I think I'm going to sit down for this a little bit more carefully. There we are like that. 
você não tem o Discover One. Try to define the chair too much, just um, just give an indication like that. Okay, so now this is drying. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is start doing some of these palm trees. We take a, a, a big round brush and um, we get some some of the yellow. green and ultramarine blue and these palm trees are gonna be in the shade too so I'm gonna make them fairly dark so I'm painting gray like that okay so I'm gonna start over here and this is gonna be done very quickly. So we're gonna go like this. A little bit, a little bit darker in some areas, a little lighter in other areas. Um, some, some lighter greens, some darker greens, a combination of those colors. colors also like this Over here, and all these fronts of this coconut palm tree. Like that. And we'll bring some of the other one over here like this. That's the way to do that. A little darker areas. Bring a little bit of the green, lighter green to this. Quick strokes, quick decisive strokes. That's the, way, the best way to paint, to paint this palm tree. The fronds of this palm, the coconut palm tree. Like that. And uh, now we're gonna do another one over here. Oops, too much. But we'll do it, it'll be, it'll be fine. I 
actually it looks kind of nice because I'm going to bring that all the way down here. There we are. A little bit more of the light green. Yeah, like that. Bring this a little bit more. Making this a lot darker. Then make that a little bit more dense, much darker over here. There we are. All right, so leave that alone. Now I'll take my, this is dry now, I'll take my flat brush, get some of this uh, brown matter and a lot of ultramarine. These shadows are going to have to be a lot of very, very large. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water over here. Like that. And then bring these colors over here. The shadows. darker over here and a little bit more of that paints gray and the cobalt blue Bring this into the shadow of the chairs, like this. Like that there. I'm going to put my brush and bring more of the cobalt blue into that area.
also going to bring in some civilian blue and that shadow area over here. There we are. There. And then that's a uh, my brush with some of this gray and there's some of the seagulls that are ever present with the with the beach. I don't want to touch this. And the painting is almost done. I'm going to bring in more dark colors. Over here, make this a lot darker. Like that. Make now much, much darker. Okay, and the, the beach is done. I'm not gonna sign it yet because this is wet, but I'm gonna show you how this looks when I remove this tape. Painting beach scenes, especially tropical beach images, is a lot of fun because you can be a lot more free with the with the bright colors, because especially in areas like here where we live in the Gulf of Mexico, the colors are bright, the light, the tropical light is much brighter than anywhere else. And uh, it, it's just fantastic to paint with bright colors. Uh, I gotta move this. this, this tape is kind of sticky. I'm going to remove it carefully. Then I'm going to put this painting on a darker background so you'll be able to appreciate how this looks. Uh, I'm going to pick it up and put this dark, dark area over here and put the painting right there. And I'm going to minimize this so you can appreciate there. Straighten this up, and there is the tropical beach. Um, very simple scene, but right to the point. A lot of sunlight, all the cool shadows over here, indicating the shadows of the coconut palm trees. And the, above, the two chairs, the people took a, a walk, I guess, um, with the two towels there. Very bright, very colorful, beautiful color of the water. That's exactly the way it is on the Gulf of Mexico. Thank you very much for watching my demo. I hope you enjoyed my painting. Until next time.